Welcome to Cancel Me Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just jump right into it. That is not Taylor Swift. Because you thought it was. That is not Taylor Swift, ladies and gentlemen. The left is Taylor Swift, but the right is Zena LeVay. Now, before we even get started, I want to let you guys know this whole show is going to be on connection. Connecting the dots. So as I'm showing this, connect this. As I'm showing this, connect this. It's a show of connection. Okay? That's not Taylor Swift. That's Zena LaVey. Who is Zena LaVey? Zena LaVey is Anton LaVey's daughter. Anton LaVey was a Satanist. Anton LaVey... Um, is actually the person who started the satanic church. And um, rumor has it on his deathbed, the last words um, that he was saying was something, something's wrong, something's wrong, I made a mistake, something like that. Google it. Anton LaVey, though, is the man who started the satanic church. Evil. Evil. You can look at this nonsense and see it's evil. Just somewhere else, bro. Like, these people be thinking this is a game. You know, his little cape. And when their time comes to an end, they find out real quick it's not a game. It's not a joke. What you've been doing is leading people astray. What you've been doing is acting like Lucifer is light. And they probably are in full delusion. Look at this. It's a child over there. It's a child. It's a lady on an altar. And it's, I mean, when you when you start looking at these things, it's like, what in the world is going on? It's a lady on an altar. And I showed y'all before, well, I showed some of you guys, Whoever seen my Patreon knows that there's um there's rituals that they do. There's rituals that they do with these satanic parties, you guys. And it's too vivid to explain on YouTube actually. If you guys want to go to my patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin, um there's a there's a there's a video on there where I explain what they do, how they take you into parties, how they uh fill you up with substances so you actually think that you're enjoying something but really you know your life is being taken it's it's actually quite sad and brutal but and you know a lot of things happen when it comes to satanic things because it's imitation it's imitating the lord it's imitating god Right. Even when it comes to satanic parties and how they be having these group orgies and things like that, it's it's imitating fellowship in God's house because fellowship is the Greek word koinonia. Koinonia means intercourse, but it's talking about a spiritual intercourse between um, brothers and sisters in the spirit because the seed of the word, um, the seed is the word. Amen. And it and. When you're impregnating somebody else's mind with God's seed, you're impregnating them with the DNA of God. So it's intimacy, amen, in a spiritual way. But the devil tries to uh, imitate that in the flesh and perverts it. You know, um, that's why different parties be like different orgy parties. And when it comes to, you know, we present ourselves as, as a living sacrifice. You seen a lady on the altar? I explain different things on my Patreon, what they do with people. The word of God says, present yourself as a living sacrifice. The enemy perverts that in the flesh, and it's disgusting. Right? Anyways, move on. Um, so, you know, you, 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 you see things like Marina Abramovic, right? You see things like Anton LaVey. You see things like Marina Abramovic. You see Marina Abramovic with 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 different crowd that sh- that she would be like, why why in the world is she hanging around with these people? Now Marina is somebody who started out young, 
right, in different parties, and you see the, the, the pyramid on her chain. You see different things written on her. Just started out young and slowly evolving in the satanic and in the kingdom of darkness. There's levels, you guys. Okay, there's levels in the kingdom of darkness. You see her at her own little event party with chains on her feet, pointing a weapon at herself, and on a table of showing different arts and crafts, there's whips and chains. It's like, how is this art? Somebody pouring something on her. This is their art, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Marina has something called spirit cooking. Not even just Marina, but we know a lot of it because of her, right? And a lot goes into this. Now, you would think, what is what is spirit cooking? You know what I mean? Well, how are you cooking the spirit? How do you eat in the spirit? We eat in the spirit as believers. We eat the bread of life. Amen. It's a spiritual thing. It's 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 spiritual. But they're doing it in a demonic way. In a demonic way. Now, she does a lot of stuff where um, it's different rituals written on walls. It's not paint, ladies and gentlemen. It's not paint. It's, 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 it's liquid mixed with um, what's in our veins. Hey, Amen. It's pretty gruesome, you guys. Actually... I actually talk about, I actually have a video on this on my Patreon too, you, you know, spirit cooking, yeah, if you guys want to go to my Patreon and check this out, you know, um, you can go there, patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin, it's a couple different videos on there, I actually, I actually explain more into detail that can't really be explained on YouTube or TikTok or Facebook without being banned, how do I know this? Because I've tried it, how do I know this? Because I'm they're, they're, they gave me a 90-day um, hold on Facebook with different things. They gave, they gave me a, a, a warning on YouTube, okay? They banned my page on TikTok six times. So now I'm just, I'm at a place where, you know, um, the Lord's building something else where it won't get banned, it won't get taken down, and actually I can actually share videos on there, amen? It goes Marina again with Jay Z. Just disturbing. I've showed you guys this before. Now many don't even know that that's a satanic sign. I said it on one of my my videos earlier, right? You say how is it satanic sign? It's the same sign that Anton LaVey is holding up. A devil worshiper. A devil worshiper. Okay. It's 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 a pyramid. It's it's symbolic for the Illuminati. It's sim symbolic for the All Seeing Eye. It's symbolic for Lucifer, right? Do what thou wilt is the satanic law. In case people be thinking I'm just saying things, right? You look at Jay Z's sweater right here. It says, "Do what thou wilt." These people are deep in. This is the same man who said Jesus can't save you in a song. And, uh, and believe me when I tell you, they brainwash you with music. They brainwash you and manipulate you, and they they get into your soul. They open portals with their music. This is exactly why I say pay attention to what you watch and what you listen to, because these people will open different things. And a lot of these women who be singing, that you sing in their songs, it's, it's, it's rituals a lot of times. You think that they're talking about men, but they're talking about their God. So they're singing to their God. Now you're singing their lyrics. Now you're singing to their God. And you're opening different portals you don't even realize you're opening. This is exactly why I say come out of singing these secular songs. Come out of singing these people's songs. They have different gods. It's not our God. I'm talking to you, my brothers and sisters. The Georgia Guy Stones. I don't know if you guys heard about these. Um, They blew up, actually out of nowhere now these are the satanic commandments ladies and gentlemen these are the satanic com these are the satanic ten commandments that blew up out of nowhere and what's on these ten commandments is very very interesting and it lines up and it connects connection it connects with what's going on in the world right right now and today 
Now, it blew up, and what's going on in the world right now is trying to be hidden in a lot of different ways. This is why they try to silence you when you, silence you, when you start talking about it. Um, they don't want it to be known. But more people are waking up. More people are talking about it. It's put on different places um, where you can see it and you can hear about it. You know, the Satanic Ten Commandments, you guys. And it's just been sitting there. And not too long ago, it exploded. Now, what's going on is what you may ask. What, what, what does the, what does it detail? What, what, what does it detail on these commandments that lines up with what's going on in the world right now? Well, we know that it talks about um, maintaining humanity under 500 million. Now, how are they doing that? How do they plan on doing that is the question. How do they plan on maintaining humanity to 500 million? Because they're doing it right now. Whether you know it or not, it's going on right now. And this is something else I can't really talk about on YouTube, though, you guys. Um, many things I can talk about on here, but many things I can't because I know that they're going to take it down. So I'm not even going to bother to do that. If you guys want to watch, um, if you guys want to hear about the ten Satan, Satanic Ten Commandments more into detail, you guys can go to my Patreon, you guys. Um, there's actually a video on there that says the Satanic Ten Commandments on there. You guys can watch that on there. Um, and I will be posting more videos on there, too, because YouTube been doing me dirty. Facebook been doing me dirty. So if you guys want to support, you know what I mean? You guys want to support what's going on um, here. Everything goes back into the kingdom of God to spread God's message, to spread light. Amen. You guys can, you guys can support here at patreon.com slash Hosea Robin. Um, yeah, may the Lord continue to shed light. Amen. And may we have discernment and understand when there's something lining up and not try to put it down. Because the Lord is lifting the veil off of many of our eyes and we're starting to see light like we never did before. The last thing we want to do is ignore it and try to make up some things in our head like, oh, that doesn't make too much sense or put some kind of excuses in our mind on why it doesn't make sense or, or on why it can't make sense. But in all actuality, there is no such thing as coincidences. The Lord puts things right in our face for us to see it now, when we decide to ignore it ourselves, we are putting ourselves in judgment because the Lord is trying to show us something and we're turning our head to it. It's time for that to end. Even when it comes to a lot of satanic things on TV and on the radio and you hear different things, but you choose to turn a blind eye. Those days need to come to an end. Amen. The kingdom of darkness needs to fall as the kingdom of God rises. Amen. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.